question number three was one of these examples that are exactly modeled towards your multiple choice question class test. So I gave you five different examples of um, an answer to the question, the path that's sketched here of a light uh, ray, um, which interaction of light with matter does this actually show? Now, there are some examples that here talk about refraction. Now, if you remember refraction, light beam, if I just sketch what you um, were familiar with refraction, if this is air, this is glass, you would have a light beam hitting, not traveling straight through, just adjust it to normal. It would be, in this case, traveling denser, one can bend towards here. So you can see light enters the medium, but its path gets bent. So that's what's refraction. And if you look at this side, we've got light um, coming towards this boundary with another medium. Nothing enters. So that can't be any kind of refraction. Even if I would say, let's this be glass and that air, then you know it will still enter, but now it's going into less dense one, so we bent away from the normal, but still would enter. So it can't be any of the refraction um, cases, which is A and E, leaving us with either it's diffraction, something in a converging lens, or reflection. Now if you think of our case when we're talking about diffraction, diffraction meant you have a very narrow opening and light that was hitting it was then coming through but also getting spread in different directions. There's no way there's a, a slit or anything sketched in here and again it's changing massively directions going the opposite direction in a way. It's not carrying on into this side, into the material, so it can't be anything of diffraction either. Leaving us with either its reflection or it's entering into a converging lens. Now remember what we said about converging lens. I sketch my very simplified example of the optical axis and a converging lens with the double arrows. If I send light beams in, they will go through the lens. They will just now, if this is length, focus point, they'll change direction, go through the lens, but in this case, for example, travel through the focus point. If I pick another light beam, it might be the central one, goes into the lens, but out on the other side. So, it still goes through. There's no lens sketched in here. It doesn't go through. It can't be that either. So leaves us with reflection. And you can see it comes towards the boundary, then gets sent back again. And if I look, there's no path that goes in. And I've even helped you with normal in here. If I have a look at this angle and compare it with this angle, they're identical. These two angles are identical. That could be alpha, that could be alpha. So again, strong hint, this is reflection. So the final answer would be for this case, this is actually reflection, and just to make the case on a smooth surface.